you guys so much. Thank you. It's something so crazy that it keeps you young. It really, really works your spirit in mysterious ways. Yeah, talking about the you know, mem- even talking to you right now, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty trippy. I, I mean, I check out your social media, and you, that's what I love about about the three of you. You're all so accessible to your fans. You take pictures with them. You see them in the streets. You'll take a picture with them. You'll talk with them, and it's it's and it's genuine. It's not it's not you're not doing the walk in the walk and talk in the talk. It's it's actual genuine interaction. That's what I love about it. Um, what would be your dream gig if you could play one? show like there's so many festivals there's uh coachella you got austin city limits you got bonnaroo you got all these festivals what would be your dream gig um my dream gig right now and thank you again my dream gig right now you're probably gonna laugh at me but i would love to play the big festival in denmark called roskilde why would i laugh at that it's oh it's it's so interesting because when i when i moved to america in some weird way, I think that I ran away. I think that's very normal, too. You know, you're young, you run away, and you have to see what's out there, and you have to, like, break away from everything you think you know or want to know or don't know or whatever it is. I have this feeling now that I just really miss my culture. So because of that, I would love to, I'd love to be on the radio in Denmark and go play some of those festivals. That's, what, that's one of my big goals. In, in America, I want to play club shows, you know, like, and if I were to do like some of my favorite shows were like, you know, when we did Armory or something like that, where 4,000 cap rooms and, and, and you, you're not necessarily the last band, but you're up there and that kind of stuff is, is that's my favorite because it's so intimate, you know, but right. when it comes to a festival, I'd love to play, I'd love to play some festivals in, in Denmark. Well, have you have you been back home since? Uh, I mean, look, it's very it's very normal, like you said. I, uh, when you're at a certain age, I did the same thing. When I was about 21, I didn't go to another country. I didn't have the balls to do that. But I went. I I left New York and I went down to West Palm Beach, Florida, for my entire 20s. So I get that. But have you? Uh, I came home ultimately, and and here I am. Have you been back to Copenhagen? Have, I've been I've been back uh, four years ago when my mom passed. So I haven't I haven't been back since. It really sucks. I, there, there's also no not necessarily any any excuse. You know I can say how I can say that it's expensive and this and that. But the truth is that that life got really busy. Maybe in some weird way it's been healthy because I I've I've really gotten to to miss it. You know, but also there is no excuse. Yeah, you get on a plane and you can find a cheap ticket and this and that. So I really, really want to go home. And now I'm in the middle of a record as well. That's what I'm doing today. I just stepped out of the studio for a second. You know, no matter what, you can come up with excuses, but I don't know how far that's going to get you. You know, you have to feel it in your soul. And I do. Come on, man. Come on, man. Don't <laughs> don't beat yourself up. To, look, life happens and uh, I'm, don't don't sweat it. You'll get back there. It's not like yeah. it's going to fall off the map or anything like that. But uh, yeah, just hopefully make, not. Yeah, def- <laughs> definitely it's not. Close. I I, gar- over there. I I guarantee it will not happen, Soren. Okay. 